long distance relationships. How do I make this relationship sustainable? And is it a good thing to be in a long distance relationship? Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com. And in today's video, obviously, I'm going to be talking about long distance relationships. I get a lot of questions from you guys in my comments and I've gotten so much about making a video of, that has to do with long distance relationships. So I am going to give you some tips in regards to how to make a long distance relationship sustainable and how to continue it so it's healthy. And if this is your first time visiting, I invite you to subscribe to this channel so you can get up to date daily advice about dating and relationships for you men. Now let's get started. I have four tips that I want to give you in regards to a long distance relationship. A lot of the comments are about how to make them sustainable. This is where my four tips are coming from. Now, tip number one is to schedule things to look forward to. A lot of times when you're in a long distance relationship, it's hard to really see positives in it when you continue to miss someone, right? Because you just want their presence. You love them. You want to have them by your side. You want them in bed with you at late at night to lay your head down, someone to come home to, to talk about your long day, whatever the case may be. And it's hard because you know you have that relationship, but you can't have that presence of them. So sometimes it gets really difficult, which I'll talk about in some of my other tips, but that's why planning things for the future. So it motivates the both of you to look forward to something. That is really important when you're planning, when you're in a long distance relationship. So if the both of you can't see each other for a month, buy plane tickets for that month in advance so you know the both of you will be seeing each other in a month and it gives you something to look forward to. Or maybe there's a concert you wanna see when you come and visit or you're gonna meet up in a week and you got concert tickets, purchase those concert tickets or you have a family event that the both of you are gonna to go to, you're gonna meet there, whatever it is. Plan on future activities so the both of you can have something to look forward to and it'll be motivating in the process and the time and also it shows devotion for each other because you're trying to make it work. Tip number two is communicate your frustrations and be understanding at the same time. So one thing here is, let's be honest, long distance relationships are really freaking frustrating because of the fact that you go about your days and you just want to experience your days with someone, but you can't, you just, all you can tell them is the story over the phone or when you FaceTime them or whatever the case may be, they're just not in your life to, to interact right now. And why relationships fail when they're long distance relationships is because they build up all this frustration and they don't communicate about it. So when it finally comes time to communicate about their frustrations, they, point fingers at each other and they don't uncover what's really behind their frustrations. And their frustrations are really about just loving each other and not being able to see each other. But instead, now we're playing the blame game and we're pointing fingers, I'm frustrated because this and you did this and you did that and you did that. But all of this energy is just coming from frustration and a lack of communication. So that's why it's important when you get into a long distance relationship or even if you're in one now, to communicate with your partner and say, listen, I know this process is really going to be hard on us, but we know our future goal, which I'm going to talk about in tip number four, which we know our future goal, but I want to be clear with you. I know that this is not going to be easy. And in order for us to sustain something that the both of us want to get to our future goal, we have to understand that we need to communicate with each other. And whenever we have frustrations or anything that we need to go through. We experience this together. You talk to me, tell me if something's on your mind, tell me what you're experiencing. And then also at the same time, the both of you have to be understanding because there's a lot of times where your partner is going to be like, I just want to see you and I'm so frustrated and this is going on my day and you're not here for me, blah, 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 blah. And then you just attack right back and say, well, I can't be there for you because I'm doing this and blah, blah, blah. And that's how your arguments start to lead up to frustrations in the relationship because both of you are attacking. So she's coming from a place of, I just love him and I just want to see him. And then you're coming from the same place, but you're both just attacking and you're not going to get anywhere when you do. So that's why it's so important that you be understanding, put yourself in their position in their shoes. Cause she is just venting to you. She just wants to see you and you just calm her down. That is a big part about being understanding and not attacking, attacking, attacking. So that's really important because frustrations are huge in long distance relationships. And I know if you're in one, you know that. Tip number three, 
remember your life goals in this process. A lot of times when you're in long distance relationships, it's because the both of you are doing something important in your lives. So meaning like maybe one's in college, the other one has a big career and she's in college here and you're in your career. And you guys have to remember that the goals in your life are the, everything that comes first. And as long as you continue to focus on your goals, the both of you can be together, which alludes me to tip number four. And that is knowing your long-term plan. All right, let me use the same example. You are here working in your career and you're, you're doing great and she's over here doing co going to college, whatever the case may be. And in a year she graduates. What is your long-term goal for each other? Is it you're moving here or is it she's moving here or are you moving somewhere to meet each other? There has to be a long-term goal in mind in the relationship because if there's not a long-term goal, there comes to be a lot of confusion, a lot of um, misunderstandings because it's like, where are we? And then you get to a point they're like, why are we even doing this? Like, what's going on? What, what, what do we, I don't see you this long for this long. I see you only once a year. I see you only twice a month, whatever the case may be. You have to have a long-term goal and the both of you have to be able to work towards that long-term goal because if there's no goal in mind for the both of you to be together, it will get harder as time goes on and I'm not sure it can work out. You have to have a long-term goal, meaning I graduate in two years or I am going to get the top in my career. And once I get that promotion, I'm going to be able to move to you. So you guys are working for something. There is a goal in mind. There's something that has to happen in order for you both of you to be together. And you both understand that. And then also compromise is huge, you know, within this. So talking about it, and if you haven't talked about it, now is the time to showcase compromise for the both of you. What are you willing to give up and what is she willing to give up? What are you not willing to give up and what is she not willing to give up? And then meet in the middle for a compromise. These discussions have to be open, they have to be current, and they have to continue because as years and days and weeks go on, people grow, things happen in life, and you just wanna make sure that you're there for that person so you can be in a long Long relationship long term but physically together you know I talk about this a lot because a lot of my good friends and people that I know and clients have been in long distance relationships and with these four tips that I'm giving you in mind they have been able to sustain a relationship and finally get together in the physical relationship where they can live together be together whatever the case may be so if you find yourself in this long distance relationship and you have any questions please feel free to comment below I'll try to answer them myself personally and as always I will see you again in the next video and remember you are always loved. Bye for now.